All right, so I recently ran into a problem with my workstation. I was trying to download Division 2 when I realized that my game drive was filled to the absolute brim. Now, usually what I do is I go into different directories and delete files until I have enough space to get me going, which is super tedious and really inefficient. But I found a better way of cleaning your drives in three different OSs. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in Windows, OS X, and Linux as well. So let's take a look. All right, so let's get into it. First up is Windows. We're gonna be using my ASUS GM501GS for this portion. You're gonna to need to download a free application called WinDurstat. After you have it installed, open it up and you'll be greeted by this menu. You have the option to scan all your drives in your system at once or to target specific drives. Personally, I like to go with specific drives since going with multiple drives can get pretty hectic. Once you start it, give it a second to complete once the scan is complete, you'll be presented with a ton of information. On the top left hand side, you have a file tree list. On the right, you have file size utilization collected and sorted by file type. The color of these file types corresponds to the blocks in the block visualizer. By clicking a specific file type, you'll also see that they're highlighted in the visualizer. The grid visualizer at the bottom represents how your data is currently occupying your drive. From here, you can easily click a box and the file browser above will bring you to the exact location. If you click the parent directory, you'll see all the blocks that reside in this folder highlighted. As you probably guessed, the block size relates to the file size. The bigger the block, the bigger the file. Once you've identified a file you'd like to remove, you can go ahead and delete it. So that wasn't too bad, right? Winderstat is gonna save you a ton of time so you don't have to dig into the different directories to find the files that you want to delete. But Windows actually has a second application called WizTree. And WizTree is even faster because it has the ability to read the NTFS master file table, resulting in much faster scans. So now that we're done with the Windows laptop, let's move over to OS X. I'm going to be using my 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro running High Sierra. I know it's not the latest, but unfortunately this is my work laptop and certain applications haven't been updated yet. But the method that we're gonna be using is through Finder, so it should work with the latest update as well. Okay, so the built-in method. You wanna start by clicking the Apple on the top left side, select About This Mac, then Storage. On the right-hand side of this menu, click Manage. On the left, you'll see a breakdown of how the space is currently being used by different directories, but what we're interested in is the Reduce Clutter section. Click Review Files, and right away you can see that OSX has listed a collection of files that are taking up significant amounts of space. Another option that is built in is by using Finder. Open it up and press Command F. Make sure the search is set to this Mac. Kind as any will already be populated for you, but we need to add additional arguments. We're going to do this by pressing the plus button at the bottom right, then clicking the name dropdown. You'll be presented with a bunch of options here. Go ahead and click Other. Here we're going to search for the file size attribute. When it comes up, click in menu. This will bring this particular option straight to the menu so you won't have to search for it next time. Once that's done, click OK. Now we can set our search parameters. Click the name drop down one more time and select file size. Let's say I'm only interested in searching for files that are larger than 5 gigabytes. In this situation, I'm going to select the greater than drop down option and in the file, enter 5. To the right of this, we're going to see kilobytes, but we want gigabytes, right? So let's change that to gigabyte, GB. Once this is filled out, hit enter. As you can see, I've already found some VMware files that are taking up a good chunk of space, and now I can choose to delete them if I want to. Of course, you're not bound to 5 gigabytes, so play around with the values and see what you find. Another good start would be 512 megabytes or 1 gigabyte. The biggest limitation of using the built-in method is not having a nice visualizer. You can't see right away which files are taking up the hugest chunk of space, but this option is free, so I can't really complain. So now that we have Windows and OS X out of the way, let's talk about Linux. So I know this section isn't really going to interest many of you guys out there, but I feel like if you ever want to turn your PC hobby into an actual profession, um, learning Linux is going to be incredibly important. The fact is a huge portion of enterprise runs on Linux. So for this section, I'm going to be using this. This is a test bench that I made a while back. We're going to be running this with an Ubuntu 18.04 LTS live USB. I have a video on this test bench and how I built it out. So if you're interested in things like that, check it out. The first command is going to be df-h-total. This command will list out the size allocated and utilized by each mounted partition with total usage printed at the bottom. This is really good if you want a quick snapshot of what directories are taking up space. The two that we're interested in is slash and slash home. The slash directory contains user, 
USR, which is where applications and library files are installed. Over time, this directory may swell up in size, so it's smart to check it every now and then. The other is slash home where our users are storing their files. From this output, we can see the root directory of the file system is taking up a good chunk. What we can do now is start drilling down to the specific directories, and we do this by running du-h-d1 forward slash. Before we continue, let's break down what this command does. du is an application called disusage, dash h is a flag for human readable, which converts the file sizes to something that we're used to, such as megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, so on and so forth. Dash D1 specifies how deep we're gonna go into each directory, in this case one, and slash the directory that we're targeting. Here we can see that slash user USR is using a good amount of space, so let's run the command, but targeting user directory instead. So the command, of course, is gonna be du-h-d1 slash user. Now we can see usage from directories like slash bin, but if you want to free up space from the user directory, you're going to have to use your package manager to uninstall application or packages you may no longer be using. You can also scan the home directory by changing the target from user, run the same command with a new target, du-h-d1 slash home. Files in this directory, you can remove normally with the rm command. So there you have it, how to clean your drive in three different OS's. Now you have no excuse for being filthy. <laughs> if you found this video helpful or useful, please like, subscribe, it really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're into Gundam, you should definitely hit up Uniqlo to check out their new collection of uh, Gundam shirts. This is kind of like the shirt with the cat that gives you the middle finger, except instead of a middle finger, it's a mobile suit. It's pretty cool.